Hi folks, my name is David Fine and we're with Keys Moths. Welcome to the Wacky Worms video series where we're going to teach you all about the butterflies and moths of South Florida. Today we're talking about the large orange sulfur Phoebus agarithi. A uh, gorgeous butterfly we have down here, one of the most common butterflies in the Florida Keys. You're not going to be disappointed in this video, so stay tuned. We're going to teach you all about the large orange sulfur. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like the video, uh, share it with your friends, and we would love it if you would join our Keys Moths YouTube family and subscribe to our channel. If you click the bell for notifications, we will get you notified every time uh, that we put a new video out uh, about the butterflies and moths down here in South Florida. But guys, let's get into the large orange sulfur, shall we? The large orange sulfur, Phoebus agarithi, one of the staple butterflies of the Florida Keys. They can be commonly seen uh, patrolling hammock edges or in parking lots. Uh, males and females are both very active all day long. They can be found throughout the entire year. Um, wingspan 2.5 to about 3 inches. They are sexually dimorphic, uh, which means that the males and females uh, look differently. Males are very simple. It's this beautiful peach apricot orange coloration on the dorsal side. Only one color, pretty cool. You flip them over on the ventral side and again, pretty simple, uh, mostly orange, but they have some brown mottled uh, coloration that can vary in darkness throughout the course of the year. Females have multiple color forms. They can range in color from white all the way to bright orange. Uh, and they've got some uh, brownish black dots on the forewings and hind wings. Undersides are a little bit more boldly patterned than the males are. This species range is limited only to Southeast Florida in the United States. Uh, they, they do live in the Caribbean. Other spe subspecies live in the Caribbean and Central and South America. But in the United States, man, Southeast Florida is the only place to find them. And they're very local uh, to the coast line of the Southeast Florida. And you know, their host plant, uh, wild tamarind, wherever these tamarind trees will grow, uh, you're gonna find the large orange sulfurs uh, there. This butterfly breeds throughout the year in South Florida, uh, can be found all year long. Uh, females are very selective on where they will lay their eggs, only on the brand new meristems of the plants, of their host plants, uh, on like, like when the leaves are still red. They like it when the leaves are still red before they even get their chlorophyll and turn green. That's where they lay their eggs. Eggs are very tiny, thin, cream white colored eggs. Um, they're laid on the meristems there. Caterpillars are green, they hatch out, and they only eat the newest growth. I mean, brand new growth only, guys. Uh, in fact, I do not suggest trying to raise them inside on cuttings if you're, if you're into raising butterflies. This is a very difficult but butterfly to raise on cuttings or to raise, period. You need the living plant in order to have these guys go through. If you try and raise them on cuttings, they're very picky, they, they get sick, they die. Um, or if you get them through, they turned out to be real stunted in their growth, they turn out a lot smaller. So just not a good idea. Let it raise them out in the living plant outside. The caterpillars of this species are tremendously camouflaged. They are a very simple green coloration with some yellow lateral lines going down either side. They eat, like I said, only the new growth. You're gonna find them only on the brand new growth of their host plants. They eat uh, a variety of different uh, legumes down here in South Florida. Larvae feed on the new leaves of wild tamarind trees. That's Lysoloma laticeliquum. They also like cat's claw. That's Pithecilobium ungus cati. They also eat black bead, Pithecilobium cayense, which are all common trees down here in southeast most Florida and in the Florida Keys. Chrysalis are green colored and they've got that very typical pyrid horn <laughs> that, that is uh, typical of most pyrid chrysalis. They hang. Uh, on, underneath leaves or usually pupate on the midrib of a, of a leaf of their host plant. The large orange sulfur is a spectacular butterfly. Uh, very welcome in gardens down here in Southeast Florida. Very easy to garden for. You put a tamarind tree in your yard, you're gonna see large orange sulfurs. 
They go to a wide variety of different nectar sources. They love Bidens, but my preference is the Firebush Himalaya Patens. Uh, if you put Firebush in your yard, they look pretty and they attract sulfurs as well. Males of this species are very territorial. Uh, I did a little experiment and I cut out some orange pieces of paper and throw them up in the air and the males of the species will chase that piece of paper and they think it's another male. They try to chase them out of their territory. So they're very super territorial, uh, very aggressive, very fast flying, very difficult to approach and uh, very difficult to photograph. But common butterfly, you're gonna see them if you go down to the Florida Keys, that's a promise. If there's sunlight and it's warm outside, you're gonna see large orange sulfurs. But guys, that's about all the time we have for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and get the word out about Keys Moths. We're trying to educate people about the butterflies and moths of South Florida. Um, we've got a great website, www.keysmoths.com. We've got all 593 moths of the Florida Keys documented there, photographs of all those bugs. Uh, also 100 species of butterflies from the Florida Keys, so we won't be disappointed if you check that out. Um, guys, check that out. Subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you again soon. Hope to see you out in the field. Until then, enjoy South Florida. Take care. Thank you.